Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today's video is on the uh, Apple event that happened today on September the 12th, 2017. Today's event saw the brand new launch of the Apple Watch Series 3, the Apple TV 4K, the iPhone 8 and 8, uh, 8S, 8 Plus, and the one everyone was waiting for, the iPhone X. I'm going to start off talking about the features of the uh, Apple Watch Series 3, which has basically got built-in 4G cellular, 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 cellular with then basically has no need to take the phone out with you. So say you just want to go for a run, you don't want to take your phone, just get your pockets in the way, don't have any pockets in your trousers, whatnot, you don't need to, it's on your phone. Uh, you've got music streaming with Apple Music directly into the phone, so wear your uh, wireless headphones with your uh, Apple Watch and you're really set really for going jogging, swimming, whatever. It's got an uh, inbuilt GPS, so you need the maps, whatever, it's got everything you need to so you don't need to take your phone with you to know where you're going. Also again, just like Series 2, swim proof so you're able to go swimming, go in the sea, just chill by the pool and not have to worry about dropping it in the water or getting it wet or splashed. Uh, with the latest capacity of all the hard hardware internals and everything of the device, it is only a small fraction bigger, it's not even that noticeable bigger, it's like less than a millimetre bigger than the Series 2 and Series 1. It also has the capacity now for Siri to talk to you and basically give you audio feedback on what you said so you don't actually have to look at the screen to find out anything. Say, either if you're driving or if you're walking, don't want to look really idiotic really by looking at your phone all the time. Just, uh, are you on phone? Are you watch all the time? Basically just say, hey Siri, and my, worry my phone activated there, and it basically will come up and tell you the audio response to what you've said. As well as all the new features like the cellular, the GPS and everything, they also included updates to the heart rate monitor. They showed a small clip and small video basically on how the um, Apple Watch had helped a lot of different people in different situations, whether it be saving people's lives, like in a car accident, saving people's lives due to medical reasons, or for people with diabetes who basically need to have the glucose monitor so it alerts them when their blood sugar is dropping without having to keep pricking the finger all the time, which is very, very useful for those people in the situation and it was very much of a lifesaver these days. The new colours that it came in is a ceramic grey and the way to distinguish between the Series 2 and Series 3 is the red crown which just basically shows the cellular I think. All pre-order available on the 15th of September and you will receive the item on the September 22nd. After that Apple went on to the Apple TV 4K which is a very small segment where it just talks about how the TV app is coming out in a load of new countries including the UK and the device itself has got a 4K upgrade and all the TV and movies that have already been purchased have got HDR and 4K capacity upgraded for free, no extra charge. You could say that the whole OS itself has been 4 k fied Tim Cook then went on to talk about the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. The only real difference between the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus to the 8 is that it has a glass back on the visual really. And the glass back is primarily there just for wireless charging capacity in the iPhone itself. With all the new glass and everything, people are probably more worried about dropping it and smashing both sides of the screen, not just one side. Well, apparently this has got the most durable smartphone glass ever, and it's been infused with stuff like steel and copper just to make it that more durable. Uh, the new camera takes in 80% more light than the iPhone 7, meaning like better low light camera shots, and basically improving the camera, which is some one of the most important features on an iPhone for most people. It's available in three colours, which is space grey, silver, and gold. But it's not the usual gold that we're used to, which is that slightly darkish gold or even rose gold. It's like a mixture between the two. It looks really nice. It's got wireless charging standard, so you can use those charging pads to get in places like McDonald's, Costa, Starbucks, or even the ones that are inbuilt into like IKEA furniture and stuff like that. So it's it's a very universal charging method now. The iPhone's available in two storage size is 64 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte which is uh, double the base storage of the iPhone 7 and 7 plus but without the middle 128 gigabyte which a lot of people will be sad to see go because it was a quite a mid-range option for people it ships with iOS 11 and iOS 11 itself will ship on September 19th to all devices prior to release then was the big announcement of the event itself which was the iPhone X the 10th anniversary iPhone or iPhone 10 as they were calling it throughout is got so many new features from face ID with 3D tracking so it maps where your face is removal of touch ID which a lot of people will hate to begin with but it was a much welcome change for security as only your face can open your phone 
which is a little bit sketchy, but amazing if it's true. It's an all glass display from goes edge to edge, from top to bottom, side to side. It is virtually seamless. It's just a small bit at the top with the ears and with the status bar. And that's basically the only bit of bezel really that you can see, which is beautiful. It's a very clean, wonderful design. Another feature that has been removed is the home button, which has been there from the start, but it's welcome. Everything's gesture based, it looks so fluid, it looks natural to do, and it's natural for the iPhone to have no buttons whatsoever. Siri on the iPhone is activated by a long press on the side button, which is the power button, but they've changed it basically to give it new feature capacities. Everything that we basically use the home button for is now really available on the side, so it's a much welcome change to that. Everything about today's event was really focused around augmented reality and how Apple's trying to be the biggest pusher for it, as well as well as charging. Apple also unveiled their own charging pad, which could charge the iPhone and the Apple Watch as well as a much welcome change to the AirPods, which had a wireless ch charging case as well built in. Pretty much sums up the event today. Um, I will put an individual video out on each product, going into more detail than this quick summary of what I've just done here, with pictures, videos, and everything. I hope you enjoyed today. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if this is what you like, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.